Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... Mr. Pahamar. Pahamar, how's it going? Pretty good, you? Good, I'm trying to automate crafting. I realized I didn't like how I set things up before, so I'm redoing it. Oh? Well, I got thinking, and mostly I noticed that uh, it's not as nice of a auto dust sifter thing or if you don't have it automatically packaging things and going into the high oven. And uh, right, yeah. we got a lot of items, so I got thinking, why not make a wall of barrels? So we can use this. Sounds fun. Songs. Well, I'm thinking, because it looks like AE requires all kinds of these circuit boards and everything, and they don't look cheap. Yeah. So, anyway, that's, what I, that's what I was thinking. I also got a quest oh, for cool. it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've kind of got food auto crafting ready, but let's look at your quest first, and then... We'll take a look. Do you want to come back in just a second when we're ready to take a look at that? Uh, I'm ready if you are. Sure. Okay. If you're ready already to hand in the quest, I thought you had to get something ready. Okay. I don't know where to put my book. No, that's cool. Oh, it's in my inventory. Uh. Oh, Pahi fail. All right. So if you look in creating life. Okay. So I did the quest lonely. Which only oh. takes, and I don't know why it's not showing up here, because it's ready to claim reward. It's uh, just okay. 10 buckets of mob essence and one egg. One egg. Well, that's easy, because we've got, easy, yeah, yeah, that's pretty easy. So we can spawn chickens now? I guess. So here's the problem with spawning chickens, I think. Well, I mean, A, it'll definitely get us a lot of eggs, so that's cool. So we could do, like, a little simple hopper or chicken egg thing. Um, we should spawn one and set it up over a hopper, so it makes us a lot of eggs. Oh, and the other one we should, like, repeatable. save. Oh, are they? Yeah, let's see. You can make a, horse, can make a with horse with 40 buckets of mob essence and some leather and oats. And oats. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can make cows and sheeps and pigs. That's cool. I don't know if we need a horse, but cows and sheeps I wouldn't object to. Pig might be nice. Villager. Oh, there's cooldowns on it. You have to wait a couple days before you can do it again. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's so... neat. Then there's what the if that's in-game oh, days or real life storage. days? Oh, yeah. Well, shell storage we have... That's ready, but shell, yeah, shell, shell storage we have to make. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to make. Shell storage. Uh, I remember we need like nether quartz and emeralds and stuff, and we need an ender pearl. So that's actually yes, quite difficult to make. We need nether quartz, emeralds, ender pearls. We don't have any of that stuff. Yeah, we do. We have all of that stuff. Uh, well, nether quartz maybe not. No. Ender pearls? Like, we might have one. We have seven. Oh, actually, we have seven. seven. Where did we get all those from? The mob farm. Really? Nice. Yeah, man. Is the mob farm producing ender pearls? Like, I figured because they were falling into water, they just, you know, not do anything. Uh, um, we kill them. Okay. I think if we got rid of the water and the endermen dropped, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, do you want to see my food processing system? Nope, but I'll look anyways. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> it's over here. Oh, you've marred up my beautiful walls. I can put a camouflage on there if it really hurts you that badly. <laughs> so the silver chest is the output chest. Nice. Take a nice. piece of food, Bahamar. Ba bam. Ba bam. I has a chest oh, yeah. Look in the chest again. I saw it was instantly filled with 10 cheeseburgers again. Yeah. Yeah. So it needs to obviously cook up. And I'm cooking eight items at a time. Like, I specifically built logic that said, check if there's anything in the furnace and only put eight items in if the furnace is already empty. So that, like, I didn't waste charcoal. I'm also auto-crafting um, wood into charcoal. So if we drop below a certain amount of charcoal in here, it'll create more charcoal. And I'm also um, keeping the 10 charcoal in each furnace on purpose. So when those drop, it should go. So like this is fully automated to one exception, which is uh, fresh water. So Pam's Harvest Craft, the dough requires fresh water. And that's a manual crafting step um, because it requires bottles of water. And we don't have an automated way to create those yet. So that's the only kind of slow part about it so far. Um, you can see I'm also no longer collecting the food in this chest. All the food gets routed down. That's what the ugly wiring is. All the food gets routed down into that gold chest. And then I used a separate inventory manager. I didn't need to use a separate manager, strictly speaking, but I wanted to to keep it nice and separate. 
Um, and I've basically got four tabs in here. I've got charcoal, crafting, tofu, and bread. Um, and that's kind of doing everything like tofu, for example, um, will make sure there's a certain amount of firm tofu and silken tofu in here. And, you know, if there's not, it'll go ahead and drop the necessary items into the Pam's Harvest Craft blocks. So it's keeping like, I think, 20 of each or something like that. So, I mean, it's it's working pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty pleased. So, like, this is pretty automated. There's a few foods I haven't programmed into it just yet. Um, unfortunately, a lot of foods do require dough, some of the ones we've been using at least. Um, I wouldn't mind maybe snagging just a few more ideas of what I could craft, because I had a lot of things in here that, like, um, like fish sandwich, for example, that's probably a good one. I could probably throw fish into there. How are we for fish? Fish. Love fish? Yeah, where are they? Um... Probably one of the sifting chests. I would expect it to be, but I don't see it. I thought we had a barrel of fish, do we not? I might have had it in my food chest. I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, I could use firm tofu, but... Pahamor rearranges everything, and then suddenly nobody knows where anything is anymore. That's the excitement. <laughs> Clearly. So yeah, I do see a lot of fish here. Um, you need to set up the autocrafter to turn these pulverized dusts into blocks and such. That is what I'm working on. Good man. It should already exist. You should just have to put it next to it and a chest next to that. So anyway, I mean, I could do I could do firm tofu for the for the fish sandwich, so I'll probably do that. So maybe I'll show real quick. Oh, it needs mayo, and mayo is simply um, firm tofu and a juicer. So that might not be a bad thing to demonstrate. So I can show you guys how the logic on the crafting piece works. So I'm going to just show this real quick to the people watching my video. And people watching my video will see me trying to find chests. Because I forgot where I put them. Nice. There they are. No, they're not. Oh, I used them all. That's why. Yeah. I love you, man. Thank you. That awkward moment where you tell Direwolf that you love him and he doesn't say it back. Well, what do you want from me? I'm auto crafting right now. And then, before we connect these loops, I just specify which chest it goes to and how much to keep. How does the auto packager? Oh, it needs power, that's why. And then it should be making mayo, in theory. Where's our juicer, Pahamar? The place you put it? I don't know, where'd you put it? Why is this auto packager not working? What am I doing wrong? It's got power. 
You sure it has power? I'm looking at I'm it. I'm looking it's at it. It's got 300 RF. It depends what... It's important to put, like, input on one side and output on the other. Well, would you come and look at what I've done wrong? Sure, one sec. Let me just make fish sandwiches. Wow, no one likes fish sandwiches. Dude, everybody likes fish sandwiches. Oh right, I forgot. There's that. We just I just ran into that fish sandwich versus chicken sandwich issue. Da, 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 da. Didn't you run into that too? Yeah, I did. There we go. Well, I'm making chicken sandwiches for us then, instead of fish sandwiches. But they're nourishing meals, so that's cool. They're both nourishing meals, so it really doesn't matter. Mmm, fish sandwich, chicken sandwich, both good. All right, where are you at, and what are you doing wrong? Aside from everything. What are you doing on the way down nice, there? Nice. I didn't know there was a door here. Stuff. Oh, you wanted me to check something? Yeah, I'm moving things now. Okay. So, auto packager? Yeah, why won't that hook up to that inventory? I I think it literally has to be connected I to the actual did chest. Have a touch it. I think it needs to be like try facing it the other way, and you have to have a chest on the other side of it. I did. I did. Oh, we'll we'll put the chest on the other side. Why are you hey. digging dust with a pickaxe? Because. And you have power in this thing? We'll get out of there. That ought to do it. There you go. Weird. Yeah. I guess the power is <laughs> got a particular side. Yeah. Well, no, it's the, the chest has to be, like, it pulls from the left and dumps to the right. So the auto packager is facing me right now. It pulls it, from the left it, and oh, goes to the right. Oh. That's silly. Cool. Yeah, it is. So we have a good amount of food right now, I think. Uh, like I said, the only thing we have to do is manually keep up with water for just a little bit. Um, it'll be, unfortunately, a little while before we actually get to a point where we have lots of infinite water that we can really automate that. Um, I was going to work next on making um, the assembly line, I think, wasn't I? Um, I believe. Uh, you don't know? Pretty sure that's what was next for me. I'm glad you expanded that. this, by the way, because it's like perfect timing for that. Yeah, if there's one thing I seem to be doing this map, it is making things easier for you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate everything you do. I want you to know that. Aww. You're so sweet. Pahamar is good, Pahamar. Would you say I'm no longer Pahi Derp? I wouldn't go that far, buddy. You know what else we should make at some point? It's pulverizers. But I think the thing I'm about to do is going to make that much easier on our life. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going down and checking how many how we are for seeds. Um, I should probably do that at some point. Where's the dolly? Uh, I might have it in my inventory. Do you want yeah, it? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank I moved, um, I moved our salt container down to the, um, crafting area so I could use the, the barrel. And then I put a new barrel in place of it. So yeah, if you figure out what happened to our fish, that would be ideal. All right, let's see if I can put together this thing and not totally derp it up. 
So step one, possible. pressure tubes, assembly line controller, a laser, a platform, and two I.O. units, and I need a chest as well. Um, so let's do this. Let's see what we can do. So I'll probably want, like, the controller. Let me see if I can remember how this is. Um, you know what? I need water, too. You want to come back in a minute, Pahamar? I want to go check my single-player test world, because I built, like, a good design, and I want to make sure I use the same thing. That sounds fair. All right, guys. We'll be back in just a minute. So, Pahamar, I heard you didn't record the entire last segment. Um, whoever told you that is a brilliant man. Yes, I would tend to agree. Oh, Pahi noob. Oh, wow, look at you. What are you doing over here? Lots and lots of storage, huh? Yeah. That looks yeah. Neat. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know if you need that barrel of gunpowder or redstone blocks. I mean, if you want to keep them, you can, but you don't really need it. Uh, the gunpowder actually is from the mob trap. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, and the, yeah, those, those ones, they just they came through because of the auto packager. I'll worry about that I'll stuff later. Right. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe 18 squid plant seeds. 18 of these. And this ought to do to get me everything I want here. So I need to I only grabbed 16 squid plant seeds. I must have. Okay. Uh, more crafting to be done here, Pahimar. Do you want to come back in a minute? Uh, let's see if I can remember to record. Okay, good. We'll see you guys in a minute. Oh yeah, Pahamar, just checking in on our uh, seed situation, and we're doing pretty good. I, by the way, bumped it up to three of each seed type. One recommendation, guys, do not put the same seed type next to each other. So, like, creeper plant and creeper plant right next to each other, because the seeds will tend to stack up on each other. There's a creeper thing in our basement. And yeah, creeper. That happens. I don't want that to happen, ever. You should do something about that. I hit him, and he's on fire, and he's not teleporting. Ah, he's teleported. I'm terrified. I don't know what to do. Ah, he's right there around the corner. What is this thing that you put on me? I didn't do anything. Make it, make it stop existing. It's dead. That is the most terrifying enemy on the planet of Minecraftia. Why does that exist? Why is that a thing? Because people are mean and evil. It's literally an Enderman Creeper combination. Like, who came up with that? A very, very bad person. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right, uh, so yeah, I've got some printed circuit boards. Hooray. And they're like Zaz, almost... Zaz, Zaz. They're almost easy to make now, by the way. Um, just so you know. So, um, you know, I should put rubber trees in our farm back there. That probably wouldn't be a terribly bad idea, would it? Probably not, actually. Uh, we have a decent amount of wood right now. This is working beautifully, by the way. Like, our food situation is pretty awesome. Uh, where was I at? Yeah, so do you want to make a uh, macerator? Might be a cool idea. We should probably also consolidate our power at some point. I'm thinking maybe next episode, because... Might be a little late in this episode to start doing that, but like we should come up with better ways to create power. Like the the mob essence thing is okay, but like it could absolutely be better. I would say. Actually, oh, why is there actually, stuff that's... in here? What'd you do? There's like mob essence and gunpowder in that dynamo. Isn't that what's supposed to happen? Yeah, but there's, it's not being it's not charging anything. It is now, but I should put a lever there or something. There we go. Cool. So, let me turn this off. I guess that'll stop producing anything. Maybe. 
And then, yeah, so what I'm thinking is we should have some kind of like centralized power plant um, for machines and such. Because like right now we've got like one redstone or redstone energy cell powering our farm. We've got another one powering our mob grinder. Like it's kind of disjointed. Unless you wanted to run, you know, run some power lines. Like we could have a wall of machines right along this wall and then just run the power both to the machines and to the mob trap, which is, by the way, really full of bad guys right now. Why is it full? Um, remember that bug I told you about? Oh, yeah. And they're like shooting me, and there's a big skeleton, and he's hurting me. Aww. I have our help. Um, yeah, it's bad. And there's a spider in our base. Can I go hide now? Uh, I think I do. We need to fix that, like, pronto. I have an idea. It might not be the best of ideas, but it's an idea that will work. Uh, how about beef jerky? That sounds ideal. I'm gonna put away this expensive stuff. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, are you fighting the bad guys? Yep. Yep. Alright, stand back. You know, I'm gonna what I'm gonna get a thing to fix this so that it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, can we come back in just a second and I'll implement my fix? But I'm kicking butt. But okay. all right, if you want to keep kicking butt, that's fine. You can keep kicking butt. I know Pahimar doesn't like to get interrupted with that. Where's our? Uh, yeah, that's kicking butt. Kicking. yeah, it's true. Where's all our item that's cool about this thing? thing? Nice. Where's all our item ducks and such? This giant... I have them in my inventory. Oh! Well, there's an explanation. Like, I knew we had some laying around. This I'm giant gonna put this machine up right in here. So much health. So much health. Yeah. 114 health still? Oh, wow. If you... I'm gonna dig out the blocks behind you, by the way. If you can hook me up with a... Oh, there it is. It's, it's the power system that's really getting blown up. The redstone energy conduit. Um, like one thing I could probably do is just move the redstone energy cell right there. It's annoying that that keeps happening now. I'm going to remove the... Careful. Careful. I killed it. I'm going to get rid of the water so things that fall in here are going to die from falling. Uh, can I have a redstone energy cell, please? Redstone, redstone energy cell? Energy I got cell. items. I got item. oh, okay. Well, I have one then. Going on about your redstone energy cell. Alright, so the grinder should be working again. He's got power building up. Um, how to solve this problem? I mean, one thing I could do is just put like actual blocks in front of it. That might work. Um, and if any mobs fall on that, like it won't be the most aesthetically pre pleasing situation, but the problem with that then is if creatures find a way to get up on there. I don't want that to happen. So how am I going to get the items that don't package? I guess I might need a servo, won't I? I got some, uh, some items coming out of the sifter that do not package nicely. Right. So I'm wondering if I need a servo to filter them out. So that'll be like a little protection zone type thing. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to get out from there. And even if they do, they shouldn't be able to get out up here. So that should be all right. So that might protect us against that thing happening again. Um, I guess we'll see. All right, so problem potentially solved. Oh, wow, you're like serious business with your setup here. Yeah, man. What was I coming up here for? Servo. Servo. Okay. I'm going to put this portable tank back for our power system. Yeah, I think the next thing we should work on is power and a macerator, I'm thinking. That's my plan. Do you want me to build a macerator real quick? You need a pulverizer? 
Yeah, that thing. Piston, machine frame, that's really easy. I should be able to make that in like a minute. Maybe two. After I get a little bit of water. So what are we doing on a slightly longer episode than normal? Because you forgot to record. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I'm asking a simple question. Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> um, why do we have cobblestone in these barrels over here? That doesn't make any sense. I think they fall into something that the... Um, that Your stones aren't getting deleted. I know, they're not being sucked in. Oh. Well, that's why it's making cobblestone, because the package will make cobblestone. Do you have flint over there, I wonder? Um, I need copper. I need gold. I need another redstone. No flint? I thought we had flint around here somewhere. I imagine it would be in here, but I just don't see it. I must have used it for something. Just checking to make sure this thing pulls stuff out. So, 25% chance from a sieve. Alright, I'm going to sieve up some stuff real quick. Where's the extra sieve that we used to have laying around? Uh, it's probably in the tool chest. Found it. So you're working on expanding that uh, storage area? What I've just done is I've automated the um, pulling of everything that we want out of the sieve. Okay. So the other thing I need to do here is I don't want to pull in the redstone blocks or the glowstone blocks. I just want the dust. Uh, so I'm going to move the trash can. At some point, I wouldn't mind automating gravel into the sieve once we get, you know, what we want to get. Come on, sieve, let's go. Give me my flint. There we go. Just gonna dump all this stuff in here I don't need it at the moment. Alright, so that should be that. Alright, so the last pulver. Do you find Invar at the city? I did. Nice. Yeah, we uh, we probably should prioritize getting gravel into a sifter, or sand for that matter, I think, because the only way to get um, the, the ferrous ingots is from, I believe, what am I looking for here? Um, nickel gravel ore or nickel ore sand. I don't think there's any dust version of it. I don't know if that's a bug or what the deal is, but you can't get nickel from dust. So that's a problem for us means we won't really have access to Invar until we start pulverizing, or sifting gravel or sand. Well, that's why we should get a pulverizer. Well, that's what I'm working on. I'm almost there. Be slow. Be slow. You're slow. No, I'm Pahamar. Aw. Your jokes are terrible. My jokes are fatherly. Like advice. There we go, pa um, <laughs> just about called you Pahamar. Ouch, that's painful. 
That was painful. Uh, where do you want our pulverizer? And like, I presume other machines from thermal expansion. I was thinking along this wall back here, but you know what? Actually, would probably be a good idea would be along this wall right there. You could do them there, you or you could there, do it at the wall below. Because right now, that's where I've got the smeltery is down here in this corner. Oh, cool. Do you have power down there, though? I have no power. You would have to supply it. Okay. So I'm going to have to come up with a good power solution. Usually I like to go left to right on my machine, so pulverizer first. So it looks like I'm going to have to come up with a power solution between this episode and next, huh? I mean, we could keep doing, like, the mob essence thing, but just... I'm thinking we should probably, instead of dumping mob essence into this small, tiny tank and then letting the rest go to waste, we should build, like, a decent-sized tank and start actually collecting it and storing it for lots of use. I agree. Um, gunpowder might be slightly limiting. I don't know how we are on gunpowder. We should be pretty good on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were struggling a little bit after a while. I mean, well, I guess right now we have 13 stacks of it, so that's not too bad, and apparently we have some blocks of gunpowder, which I'm going to convert to regular gunpowder, and then Pahamar will have an empty barrel. Haha. <laughs> wow, it actually makes... Oh yeah, it does make blocks. Yeah, it does 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three crafting. So it's not necessary, really, but... Oh wow, look at all this junk we've collected. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. We're getting fish, that's neat. And creeper plant seeds. So I'm going to turn that thing back on to actually kill mobs with a grinder. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. I mean, it. if it doesn't, I'll have to come up with another solution to that grinder problem. I could recede the grinder back a block. That actually might not be a terrible idea. If I brought the grinder back one, that might be even better, because what it would do would be to have the grinder here and that should work but eh, we'll see what happens i mean if this works out it works out i'm not gonna worry too much it should be okay all right so about wrapping up point mr pahamar yeah sure let's call it that all right so what i'm gonna do guys uh, i'm gonna work on power between this episode and next and figure out where i want to have like a central power plant it would be nice to have it, like, in the middle of our base, kind of. But, I mean, if we're going to have all our power using and producing areas in this giant area, maybe we'll just keep it, you know, over here somewhere. The one thing I've heard, Pahamar, though, is a lot of the power production stuff is quite hot. So we want it in a place where we won't commonly be walking, but is also easy to access because, you know. I have actually I thought I was digging out the space it. underneath the spaceship for it. Oh, for power? Yeah, because then we could have it in a spot where we only walk into it if we need to go in there. Fair enough. How are we for leaves? Are you transferring some now? Yeah, because we're getting low on water. Getting cool. low on water. Okay. Yeah, we should have a ton. I mean, I, I set it up so there's a barrel over here. I should set up a... Uh, I should turn that either into a void barrel or upgrade it or something. But, I don't know. So for now, guys, time to wrap up the episode, unfortunately. But we will be back next episode to maybe get power in line and maybe start working on a few more of these quests. We don't have any that we accidentally completed again, do we? It would not appear as much. No. no. Actually, what ones do you want to work on, next? I guess we're working on basic machines. Well, then we just need an ender generator infuser and redstone furnace. Yeah, I mean, an ender generator might not be terrible. Um... I really wish we could collect ender pearls from our mob trap at the same time we're collecting essence. Well, you know what? Why don't we work on that next time? Because we have a bunch of cobwebs that I've been harvesting from the city. From the city. Right. Yeah, I need five ender pearls for an ender generator. So I do have the resources right now to make what I want to make. Oh, are you saying cobwebs instead of water? And then we will catch endermen? Yeah, what you can actually do is you can use cobwebs to stop fall damage, like to reset it. Right. And then the Enderman will get killed by the thing, and they won't teleport away, because it won't be water. That's the idea. That's right. the idea. Well, that's not a bad idea. All right. The only problem with that is that it's not an on-off switch. But, I mean, I guess that's okay. Ideally, we want Grinder killing it all the time, right? That's the plan. Okay. I guess that'll work. Not that high, though. No, they're supposed to be this high. Yeah. So should so I get rid of the water stuck, then? Get stuck. Yeah, turn off the water. Okay. Oh, I see. They get stuck in there and they can't get out. Yeah, so let's see. One should fall shortly. There you go. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Now they fall below. They can't get through. I don't think they can even shoot arrows through. 
Okay. And, there they go. and they do there get they killed. Well, that's not a bad idea. You got all those cobwebs from the city? Oh, yeah. Nice. My pointless My deaths point. and looting of cobwebs that I thought were useless have not been useless. Hooray. Nice job, Pahamar. Thank you. All right. I'm going to eat some food and wrap up the episode. So yeah. for now, Daryl20, Pahamar, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, take it easy. See you later, guys.